Now let's take a look at this section demonstrate how to publish a component as a GitHub release using GitHub Actions. So for this demo, we are going to take a look at our Node.js Hello World application again. Inside workflows, I'm going to create another workflow file. So basically over here, we are going to create a GitHub release and we are going to do it through our workflow and let's see how to do that. So I'm going to add a file, create a new file and this will be pretty much similar to our Node.js installation and build. We are just going to add an additional step called release. So I'm going to create a file called release.yaml and let's just say node, the name would be Node.js release. And let's say it's on push and now let's write our jobs so the build you know at this point it's build so we're going to just build and it's going to run on ubuntu latest and permissions content right we'll need this permission because we are going to write uh, or upload some packages or a zip file and the steps and the first would be checkout code which uses actions checkout v4 name would be another one would be now let's set up node.js which uses actions set up node v4 and with node version 20 and now we are going to do we're going to do npm install and then install dependencies and then build so now let's actually create the release so we are going to use an action create release with version v1 and it requires an environment variable github underscore token which we have seen how to pass that and how do we want to tag the release and so what i'm going to do is just use v and github dot run underscore number so however many times you will run the workflow it will keep a count so if i'm running the workflow for first time the run number would be one so it will create a release with tag name v1 so next time when you run the workflow the run number would be two so it will create a release with tag v2 and then let's name the release as release v github run number and that's pretty much it so the only new step over here is creating the release so when we create a release we will provide the tag name and the release name and the token and then we are going to use this action so i'm going to commit the changes and then i'm going to commit it to the main branch and then click on commit changes so it has created this release.yaml which i mean we have created it now i'm going to go to actions and click on our node.js release workflow and i had created few in the past so you, you're seeing all these over here so we are going to look at this so it ran through now it's trying to create a release and it completed the job 
now let's see if it actually uploaded anything so I'm going to go back to my repository and you see the tags over here and now it's created release 9 for me v9 because I'm running this workflow for the ninth time the release.yaml you might be running it for the first time so you might see v1 but I'm running it for the ninth time earlier I had deleted it I'm I've recreated the file again for demo purposes so that's where you see the release you see the the zip file so if you click on it you have the name as well we had assigned it a name release v and then the uh, the github dot run underscore number so that's where you see the release name and you can download the assets as well uh, the zip file of our um, node.js project so that's how you create a release using github actions workflow